Hello guys. Taiwanese BLs are always good, this year we have got DNA says I love you which I would consider a very good BL and plus and minus which improved as the episodes progressed. Yet, still they lacked the exceptionally good quality Taiwanese BLs, like we best love or History 3, are known for. The currently airing Papa and Daddy season 2 is also entertaining but looks like they got very less story to make a full second season. However, the one BL I am really enjoying is about youth. I have ranked about youth on number 5 on my previous video about upcoming must watch BLs and rightly so it is showing a lot of promise till the 4th episode. The story is basically straight out of a typical BL storyline with high school setting and full of almost every BL cliches we have watched till date, yet still it doesn't hamper the overall viewing experience. The pacing is good and each episode is of just 20 minutes, hence the story is developing at a good pace. The actors are young and actually look like high school students. The main couple look good together, and are well casted for their roles. Especially Jun, who plays Xu Qi, he is able to show his duality as a dork in his school and a rock star while he is singing. Li Zhen as Yi Guang is also good and the audience can sympathize with him from the first episode itself. The start of the secondary couple is also interesting, with Rei moving away from his toxic relation and slowing finding love in Arjian. Another wonderful aspect of this BL is the OST, I loved both the songs of the intro and end credits from the first episode itself and lately it is the only BL which I watch from start to end without skipping the intro and end credits. Well I do not want to give much spoilers, but it shows that even same old repetitive story also looks good on screen if done right and the credit goes to the director as well who has previously given us series like Love is Science, make our days count and crossing the line. And Sunbo also makes an appearance in the second episode. As of now I think this series will make it into my year end top 10 list unless it deliberately messes things up. I genuinely recommend everyone to watch this series, if you haven't already. Do let me know your views about this series in the comments section, I miss you all and I will try to be a bit more regular. Cheers.